Hello, I am Captain Wayne, and I bet you're thinking, what is he here to blither about this time? Well, my friends, I have come up here into the lovely hills above Cow Creek to show you this. This, my friends, is one of the most beautiful reptiles of the Pacific Northwest. This is the California king snake, a very widespread species across the North American continent that comes in many different types. There are prairie king snakes, there are mountain king snakes, there are milk snakes, a very closely related variety. But this is the California king snake. Now you could ask me, what the heck are California king snakes doing in Oregon? Well, I don't know. I guess you have to ask them that. But I'm sure of this beautiful creature. Notice how the light scintillates off its scales. The black shading into a kind of bands of delicate blue, and then the white cross bands. This snake is completely harmless, although it will poop on you, and the poop will stink. This is a common thing that snakes do. I don't know where it helps them escape from anybody, but maybe it's just an insult to whoever captures them. I do not know. The thing that puzzles me is why there are so many people out there in the world who will destroy these creatures on sight. What reason could anybody possibly have to destroy this beautiful little animal, this totally harmless, beautiful little animal? They get larger than this specimen. I have noticed, though, that in this particular area, about three feet is the tops. Down in California, they commonly attain four or five feet, and they may get that large here, but I've never seen them that big. Now, this is a, a sort of a small to medium-sized adult. I saved his life, undoubtedly, by picking him up off the highway, where he was laying out here in the evening to soak up the heat from the pavement. It is a very hot evening. It was a very hot day. The last time I looked at the temperature, it was 98 degrees. Getting pretty warm for May. But when the sun departs in the evening, the pavement remains warm, and these animals crawl out to soak up that heat so they can continue with their activities. And the reason they need this heat is that king snakes, like all reptiles, are ectothermic. This means they do not generate their own body heat like us hot humans do. They are dependent on their environment. And without that heat, they cannot digest their food, they cannot mate, they cannot do any of the activities that are so necessary for day-to-day -day existence. <coughs> Excuse me. You don't mind I cough to turn my head. You know, that's okay. But anyway, I am going to turn this beautiful creature loose and show you another one. Let's go. And stay off the road. It's not a lot of good it does for me to tell him that. Snakes don't have ears. But here is our other little prize, the juvenile California king snake, also saved from the road where he was waiting to unwittingly, he, she, waiting to unwittingly commit suicide for the next passing automobile. Let's look at that. Isn't that just an amazing little critter? 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 Something like that. It's trying to hide, find a hole it can crawl into before this giant pink-skinned creature at us holding it decides to eat it. But I wouldn't do that. Well, I don't know. Maybe if I got hungry enough. Anyhow, here comes an approaching vehicle that's going to make noise. So, we're going to let this little critter go. We don't want to put him where we put the big one. 
because California king snakes are snake eaters and they do not differentiate from their young from garter snakes from any other species they'll eat any other snake that's small enough to stick in their mouth so we're going to put you somewhere else over here I gotta love it. Now that I have released them and they have already climbed way out of sight, I forgot to take still pictures. <sighs> <laughs>